one ship being piloted by four players. What could go wrong or right? I, I, I don't know. Let's see. Vibe check. All right. Well, let's let's start off. Let, let's let's start off with. Let's go back here. Let me just get this set up. Hold on. I didn't track him. Damn it. I'll do it in a second. We made history. You guys making history. If you can win it, if you can win tonight, phew, then you really, you'll be, that will be something. But all I'm going to say is, you know, Pilfit has put up some glorious fights with it as a one player team. But normally it's, you can do it. But it's really hard when, when it, uh, yeah, we'll see. I won't say anything. It's, the odds are against you, I think, but we'll see. Unless you got some shenanigans shield going on. That could also make things up. We'll see here. So first up here, from DSI, stats-wise, we've got the DSI Dark Star. Oh, this is Dark Star Imperium. Not related to Dark Star, I don't think. But the name of the ship is DSI Dark Star Stop Changing Shields. I don't know if we got Dark Star in the chat tonight, but he was here earlier. But Dark, this is maybe a petition build from uh, Cluster King. So, uh, this is featuring 7 million kilograms weight, 3.5 million shields, 66 DPS. It's got 8 203s, 4 Gladius heavy lasers, 2 250s, and 4 Sea Whisses. So, pretty, pretty compact build here. It's quite heavy, though, for the size of it. The size of this ship, it's relatively heavy, I think. Six, uh, yeah. A lot of guns, focus on the top deck, symmetrical. Pretty cool shape here from Cluster King. Next up, we've got the DSI Porcupine, appropriately named Berlioz, Dark Star Imperium, 20 million kilogram weights. Look at that, two 250s, 400 millimeters, and then it's got an extra disco ball lasers as well. Okay. So, there we have it, guys. DSI, Dark Star Imperium. Three, not identical, but three very similar ships. There you guys a better view of the sun. And a mothership, the porcupine in the middle. So, interesting layout. I've got them all tracked. Let's go have a look at what J Nick and crew from Mac. And just as you guys know, the name of Mac. Let me fly over here. This is the team. This is Mass Accelerator Cannon and Cheese, the name of this one. Mac and Cheese. So Mac and Cheese. I like the name. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's have a look what they got here. Let's see what they're bringing to the fight today. So, 25 million kilograms. So not the heaviest compared to DSI. It's got a DPS of 325,000. 10 million shields. Thrust of 560. Mega Newtons. And the most important, the armament. 16 M1s. 28 point defense turrets. 16, two, oh God, 16 203s. 4 fixed lasers. 2 gimbal laser round armored. 4 fixed lasers. Also, that's technically 8 six fixed lasers. 16 M8s, 4 300 millimeters, 8 battleship cannons, 22 PDXs, 4 battleship cannon Mark IIs, and 4 Gladius heavy lasers. So, what do you guys think? This is the Arrowhead. This is uh, it's got the crew right here, the full names. We've got um, Janik, R8 driver, rate driver, and Stone, and DBG Ghostly are the, the the people inside here and I, I really wonder what are their roles what are their roles within this ship you guys want to give us any insight or should we find out later <laughs> there's no mac isn't it well, no, yeah there's no mac the team is called mass accelerator cannon and cheese but actually they don't even have a mac so it's an interesting naming scheme but there you go Instead, at the front, they have a, a huge thruster major. There you go. 
Big old thrust at the front. Cyborg Commander says we got a pilot, a repairman, and a shield jockey. Okay. So, so you're going to have someone inside running around, running around welding stuff up? Really? Okay. Oh, the name is now changed. It's now Mac for memes. Mac for memes is the name of this team. We'll call it... Uh, I, don't want to, I can't really call it Mac Boys either because it's... All right. You're wearing, you'll be wearing outside. Good luck with that, rate driver. I am curious to see how welding on the outside of a ship during battle will work out. But I wish you the best of luck. Let's go, guys. And caboose, it is time for the polls. Get your bets in, guys, for this final battle of the night. This is going to be an interesting one. So once again, we've got Mac on this team. Four players in one ship. One ship only. Goodness me. Up against Dark Star Imperium. Is that right? Look at that name right. I'm blank again. Yeah, Dark Star Imperium. With Clusterkin, Berlioz, Harry, and four up uh four upward arrows. Arrow we'll just call them arrows, alright? So, how will you vote? I will say this. Prove me wrong, Mac. But uh, this does look to be an uphill battle for you. It would satisfy me greatly to see a, uh, a one-ship team win this. The best job, yeah, the most, the best job in the world, welding a ship from the outside. I heard, hold on a minute, I haven't locked on to that final ship, have I? Yeah, nearly, nearly forgot. Didn't lock on to the um, the arrowhead here. Just, it should be easy. Only one ship to track. All right. Which is the which is the up way? Hold on. Is there is there an up direction? It's pretty. I don't know. I'll, I'll go on the way. It's pasted. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll do it like this. Hold on. I want to see those guns firing, honestly. Let's do it like this. Control 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good. I can't miss the action of this battle. Yeah, at least I don't have to switch between as many people. I, I Thank you guys for that. I appreciate it greatly. Let's restart this song and then we'll go again. Ship captains, are you ready? It's time for the final battle of the night. Dark Star Imperium with Clusterkin, Berlioz, Harry the Reaper, and Four Arrows up against J, Nick, and team. Four players in one ship. Let's see how they fare in. Three, two, one, go, go, go! Roger that, R8 driver. I wasn't sure it was, it was a leak speak kind of thing. Oh, roger that, oh, here it starts. Lays out of range. Uh, a bombardment they really struggle down a 2v1 now I think that's about it, guys.
How many guns did the, did uh, Mac have left at the end of the last round? I can't remember. We have to look back at the VOD. I can't re maybe flick back. There's 64 left this time. So health-wise, they were like 94 or 91%. I think they might have lost 10 or 15 more guns. There's 70 once. They've lost... They lost... They, well, they only lost seven more guns, which is actually not that much. What does this tell us? <laughs> this is the thing here. Oh, Berlioz, no! Oh yes, Muzzled. Some of my favorite tracks to, to play on tournaments. He's played all the time, but I, mean, I try to avoid this stuff now. Fam, I'm coming back inside. Coming back inside. Oh look, what's this? R8 driver. Doing the doing the the solid work here. Mid battle, missiles firing. He's out on the deck repairing the guns. Hey, Zadrovnik, welcome, man. Yeah, I do wonder, actually, Z, uh, Z Defender versus J Nick, or just, you know, just in general, uh, what is it? Um, TLB versus this ship, right? Whew. Goodness, goodness me. <laughs> oh, I'm so. This is on it. I... I... Um, my question is, my first question now. If you guys need to head off, uh, please, please uh, do. I, I appreciate that. Uh, it's getting late for the people. But um, I'm sorry. I I'm still surprised they won. No offense, Mac. Because Pilfit is probably the only person that we've seen. Hey, Colonel Will. Just in time for your arrival, man. A beautiful ear-destroying uh, launch there. How you doing, man? Welcome, everyone, from uh, Colonel Will stream. How you doing, bud? Factorio tonight. Awesome, awesome. We're currently in the... Uh... <laughs> Testing uh, some stuff out. Oh, no, it wasn't there nothing against the Mac Major. It was just like some, for some reason, I'm not sure what it was. It was like, again, it was like some, it was like clipping or something. The audio was clipping. Nothing against your Mac, good sir. I don't know why. Actually. Yeah, there's like, there's definitely some, is it the explosions? Even that, my volume's down, but I'm definitely getting like clipping on my headphones there. I don't know what's causing it. Like, is it the impact or is it the, the shot firing? Is 
the impact causing it. I think it's like some chain reaction explosion causing it. Like it's 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 causing multiple explosions or something, and there's ex there's explosions like maybe doubling up on one another, so that actually ends up being way louder than it needs to be. That's what I'm thinking, Major. It's not actually the max thing. It's the fact that it's destroying so... Because the Mac goes through many blocks, right? It shoots, like, through an entire ship sometimes. Or, yeah, I mean... So it's... That's the sound of multiple blocks. All exploding at the same time. I'd assume. Well, welcome, everyone, from... Uh, from Colonel Stream. It's good to have you with us. Riking, welcome. We've been having a crazy night here tonight. It's been wild. Absolutely wild. Um, we've been testing some new settings for the next upcoming tournament and you know, the map and the rest of it. So, oh, it's like crackling. I'm going to, I have to step back a little bit here. That'll, that'll make it better. I think if you guys want to just join in, uh, feel free to join on the server now and just fight like we normally do some, well, like we off sometimes do. If you just want to join the server and just paste in some ships and just all on all or team whatever i don't mind we'll just do some backdrop here while we're talking because i'll be wrapping up the stream relatively soon here sound in a vacuum it's because we're on arcade there is actually a realistic setting for sound uh the drovnik but it's it sounds cooler with explosions <laughs> i mean it does sound cool realistic as well but for some reason, like, when you're playing SC, it's immersive when it's, like, realistic. But for some reason, when it's, like, like this format, it's, yeah. I don't know. But, yeah, GG. Uh, once again, DSI, well fought. You guys put up a good fight. Definitely the better there against uh, against Mac. Uh, but, yeah, Mac is a solid, solid ship there. Solid ship. How was, uh, hey, x being welcome as well, man. It's be I've been streaming for five hours now, five and a half hours. So, uh, yeah, it's been a ride. How was x wing today? <sighs> I, I still haven't got to the bottom of this, though. I still haven't got to the bottom of this, uh, this situation. I'm, I'm still, in a way, recovering from what happened here regarding this um, this large this much much larger build hmm who knows maybe next week we'll see wait a minute is there anything against the rules because in the tournament you have to have 14 players right there's nothing against the rules for one ship is there hmm I'm, I'm curious if we don't change anything I'm curious if this will be a pattern going into this weekend. Oh, you can draw it now as well. Um, because winner, of course, being Mac again. Congratulations. Uh, you guys can just back that out. There we go. I'll just try and follow some stuff. To a, four, a ship like that, it had a lot of guns 130 guns. Technically, the mass was much lower. Uh, I think the mass of that one map of that big ship was like, was it 30 million? Meanwhile, Dark Star, uh, DSI, they had 45 million. So actually, DSI had a, had a higher team mass combined than that big ship, which is why I'm confused a little bit. Because it's not always that most mass wins, but there is something to be said about you know more mass, like more armor, all the rest of it. So that's why I'm a little bit like you know, if the mass of each team had been the same, then maybe I wouldn't be as surprised. But because the mass was like 
50% more actually, 50% higher mass of, D, uh, of uh, DSI. That was really threw me off. Agile ships that can keep range, uh, 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 range and force the big ship to miss more than the other four ships can get hit. So probably Mac cannons, right? If you had a team of Macs, you could just hang way, way back and just keep pummeling it without getting in range of all its those. I mean, it was launching a lot of missiles as well, so you'd have to have PD to counter that. Literally just flying around fast and torps when there's a chance and Max. So maybe, yeah, not trying to take anything away from Team Mac, but yeah, maybe again it was just the lineup there. Swarming at weapons that can drain shield quickly and picking it off while being able to somewhat tank the power of the Max ship. None of the existing connected weapons. So are you guys saying when you, I mean, maybe one beefy main and another less beefy. Increase point limit to 50k, lower team mass to 25, make heavy armor cost one point, lower shield controller cost to 500, increase shield modulator to 500, Ender off says. So, the thing is, I mean, you're saying make heavy armor cost, right? So, my instinct from having heavy armor cost more... W sorry, ha before that ignored, my, my opinion of having um, mass reduced while increasing battle point cost will just result in a lot more gun spam, right? You have less mass, but you, you have a lot more points to spend on weapons to put on your ships, and it'll be end a bit like the pyramid scheme stuff. But then, if you're saying heavy armor, we caught the problem is I want to avoid having everything be cost because I still feel like it gets a bit messy that way. I think one of the solutions is just to have, it's just to have uh, armor core, armor core, you know, just like having armor actually working nicely. <laughs> hey, Shag! How are you doing, man? I'm not sure if you just, if you just watched me go ahead, Shag, but it has been an insightful night tonight. Chaos, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not weapon call that makes bodging impossible. It's, uh, I love my heavy armor. <laughs> Shag, literally, oh God, I'm lost for words, man. I can't, I'm smiling. Shag, we just saw a 4v1 or a 4v4 where the, the one player ship won. What I mean by that is like one of the, there was a big ship, 30 million kilograms, with four people inside it, multi-crew, four multi-crew ship, which beat a team of four separate, you know, four individual ships. They won, they won twice. They won with shields and their shields barely drops. So they were like, okay, let's try this out shield. But they, they won in both instances. They won without shields and with shields. And it was pretty close. They took a bit more. They did take more damage during without shields and lost.